Well, South Dakota statewide primary elections are scheduled for June 7th, and the general election is set for November 8th. With the recent focus on voting rights legislation, we thought we would take a closer look at South Dakota's voting laws and how they compare to other states. Kelly Lance Tom Hansen has the story. In South Dakota, the threshold to vote is pretty simple. You must be 18, a U.S. citizen residing in South Dakota. You can't be a felon or be judged mentally incompetent. About the only challenge to voting in South Dakota, besides distance, which is a problem in some parts of the state, is the voter ID law. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, 35 states require some form of ID. We can identify who the voters are and that they are qualified to vote. And South Dakota has a number of provisions like that, but they're fairly flexible. Minnehaha County Auditor Ben Kite agrees. While some states limit the types of ID that can be used, South Dakota's voting ID law allows for many options, from a driver's license to a school ID to a tribal ID card. If you don't have the ID with you, we do uh, ask you to sign an affidavit that says basically, I am who I say I am, and we find your name on the uh, voting poll, poll book, you know, then we would record you as voted. So we give, people still have the option uh, to, to vote. We don't, we try not to disenfranchise anybody. South Dakota's voting flexibility can be found in the absentee voting process. We have early voting and so if we can, uh, if you can get to the auditor's office between 8 and 5 on a Monday through Friday, you'll be able to cast your ballot. Unfortunately, if you're not able to get there, it makes it more difficult. But you can request an absentee ballot uh, to be delivered to you by mail. Traditionally, about 20% of voters cast absentee ballots. In the last election, with COVID looming, it jumped to between 40 and 50%. Kite says he wants to make sure that anyone who has registered to vote has that opportunity. We're going to try and make it as accessible as possible and uh, so we can have a fair and honest election. Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. During the last general election in November of 2020, South Dakota had a high voter turnout of almost 74%.